A new report shows several big retailers have not switched over to using chip credit card readers. Almost a third of the stores that said they would install the system by October of last year have not. News Channel Line's Hannah Lawrence talked to local stores about why the technology is important and when they'll be up to date. Hannah. Kim Calvin, this report says about 40% of people have received a new credit card in the mail with a chip that looks like this one. Inserting that chip into a credit card reader at checkout instead of swiping a magnetic strip is supposed to make it more difficult for people to steal your credit card number. I've probably had my credit card stolen three or four times. Jacob Hampton isn't alone. According to a report by CardHub, credit card thieves make $8 billion in fraudulent card charges every year. The most recent, um, someone actually, we were at a restaurant and the next thing you know, we got a call from the credit card company and someone had bought $300 worth of groceries at Publix. Publix is on CardHub's list of retailers that don't run credit card chips. Whole Foods is in the same boat. They actually do on the, they said it's not activated yet or it's, they don't have it yet. In October, Visa and MasterCard started making businesses liable for fraudulent charges made in their store if they don't process chip card payments. But according to CardHub, that hasn't pushed all stores to comply. In most places you have to ask, they have the machines, but they actually don't have the software installed yet. Hampton said he'd rather go to stores like Walmart that do have the chip system in place for the increased safety. They're one of the few places, most everywhere else is still behind. So. Other shoppers who haven't dealt with fraud before say the chip reader holds them up longer in line. I assume it's, it's safer and it's better and I guess I should like it for that reason, but for, for my general use, it just takes, it takes longer to takes longer to use. CardHub says 42% of the 55 major retailers they surveyed have yet to convert. Whole Foods manager Jordan Jones says it's a long process. It's kind of a quantum leap in technology for us of moving from the register system that we have right now forward to something that's more progressive and more modern. He says Whole Foods is working to make the switch sometime in the next few months. The Whole Foods manager told me their system should be complete in July and the, all of Whole Foods should be compliant with the chip system by September. Calvin. Thanks, Anna. Also in that Card Hub report, 56% of the 1,000 people surveyed said they did not care whether or not a store uses either the chip or the swiping system. 62% say they just didn't understand the difference between major card security standards.